you are settling in, there are a pile of crates sort of being piled up in the middle of the room. Uh, yeah, you can, you can smell the hamburger coming up through the wood. It, it smells raw, though, like it's on the Raw, raw, you should go stand on the hamburger. You like the hamburger bar. You or, no. Coming down the stairs um, is a dwarf. Yeah! He's <laughs> a birdie. Yeah, he's got some sawdust in his hair. But he's very good looking, strapping, right. muscular, and strong. I'll take what I can get. <laughs> My vacation, I'm sure that it stays in New York. He comes strapped down the stairs. And uh, you recognize him as. Dimsy. 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 <laughs> Dimsy Conwick. That's my name. <laughs> she used to almost say Dimsy Iron Chef. <laughs> you did. I did. Dimsy Iron Chef. This was a good video too. I'm a man. He says, Master Dark Magic. Good to see you, man. Hey, pal. What's up? Those shelves are going to be packed 
with all kinds of magical tones that people read. Now they've been picked clean. Did you change my room? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. That's like a workout room or something. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> you also notice that some of the furniture that you remember is gone. Hmm. Yeah, it's not quite like I remember, guys. We had even more cool shit than this. <laughs> and then, uh, sort of coming out from an upstairs room and drifting down the balcony is this beautiful, charming, lovely girl with silver gray hair. She's human, but she seems to have gone completely silver gray in her youth, and she can't be more than 20 or so. And uh, I guess she, this is the Olivia you mentioned on the magical ball. Yes, indeed. <laughs> and uh, this this absolutely busty, not bushy, young girl. <laughs> Back and forth 
Jim, when you come into the room, it starts to get really, really nervous, and it just starts to sort of shiver. <laughs> You used to torture Clatterby when you were a boy. Did I ever? <laughs> wow, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Wait, so you grew up with an animated suit of armor? You didn't. <laughs> I didn't even grow up with parents. <laughs> There's a sad cue you've ever heard of. <laughs> Why do you think I'm so evil all the time? <laughs> it's not just a humorous affectation to win them. Loyalty of the audience. <laughs> At the end of the table sits your grandmother, Doris. And uh, you can see that uh, she, and this has been true for years, she hasn't put her face on quite right, so it's sort of slid, slid, slid and peeled off in the corner. Just, so uh, just as a heads up, guys, my grandma's a red lich. Okay. <laughs> Your cousin, Percival, is seated at the table and looks shocked and horrified when you walk in. What's up, Percy? And then he looks even more shocked and horrified when he sees that you have brought strangers. And he says, really, my ass. He said, what? <laughs> he said, are you not sure you want to ask me? <laughs> I, 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 what'd you say about my friend, Percy? <laughs> says, I didn't think you would be here. Yeah. James. Well, I'm here. And actually, I brought more people than you know about. <laughs> Hideous is only 12 years old, 
you see that when he enters, uh, he just looks like your normal 12-year-old.